Hello again, it's Miss D, and I'm going to draw an example pedigree of eye color going back three generations. This is an example of an exhibit that you could be able to use in your selfie book. I'm using my own personal information just because it's easy for me to remember, and hopefully it will inspire you to pick something similar so that your exhibit does truly represent yourself. So you've just been playing with a bunch of pedigrees where we start with a couple and they have offspring and those offspring have offspring and those offspring have offspring. Well, now we're going to do it backwards. We're going to start with you. And you're going to look at your siblings, parents, uncles, and aunts, and grandparents. So we're going to go back three generations. Well, as it turns out, I have no siblings from my biological parents, so I only have to draw myself. And I am a girl, don't know if you noticed, but I am a girl. So I'm gonna use a circle to represent myself. This is gonna be freehand. It's gonna be a little sloppy. For that, I apologize, so just bear with me. And this isn't working yet. How about now? There we go, drew a circle, that's me. That's deep. Aren't I beautiful? Well, I have two parents. I have my mom and my dad. Well, my mom has siblings. Now, when I draw siblings, I don't draw a line straight out from the right side. No, I'm going to draw a line out from the top and across because she has four siblings. She has a brother, sister, and another brother. My biological father also has four siblings. He has a sister, a brother, and then a sister who died when she was very young from cerebral palsy. So I'm going to include her because she is in my family, but since she's deceased, I put an X to her. There are other ways that you could signify that, but that's simple. Well, my mother had two parents, so I'm going to draw the line out of the middle of the bracket, including her siblings, kind of like a T, going to her mom and dad, my grandparents. Well, I, guess, I guess I could have done this much higher on the, on the <laughs> doesn't matter. And the same for my biological father, mother and father. Well, now I'm going to start dealing with a phenotype or a genotype. So yesterday, or two days ago rather, I had you try to figure out uh, a dihybrid square using eye color. So I'm going to continue to use eye color. I'm going to use the analysis I do here to help me figure out if I did the right genotypes for the phenotypes that I see. Because I'm going to add information from siblings, aunts, uncles, and grandparents. So I have so many more people to, to uh, glean information from. So I'm just going to use a colored pen to draw in eye color. Uh, and since I don't have a brown pen, I'm just going to use the red pen to signify brown. So I'm going to start with blue. I know that my maternal grandfather has blue eyes. My Mom's sister and brother both have blue eyes, and there are no blue eyes on my biological father's side. Now I'm going to use the green pen to write in green hazel. Well, my maternal grandmother has green hazel eyes, so does my maternal paternal grandmother. My mom has green hazel eyes. I have green hazel eyes. Da -da 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 -da. And Nobody else on my paternal side has green hazel eyes. Can I do brown? Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that! That's a nice plan. So now I'm going to start filling in the brown eye color. Pretty much everyone on my biological father's side has brown eyes. I don't know what color eyes my deceased aunt had, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And I have one uncle with dark brown eyes. It's kind of interesting, looking at my mom's side of the family, that she has a dad, her dad, my grandfather, 
had bright, bright, bright blue eyes. And he passed that on to two of his kids. Well, his oldest daughter, my mom, has green hazel eyes. And one of his son has brown eyes. So what does that tell me about my grandmother? She must have a parent with brown eyes and green eyes and hazel eyes. Like there's, there is some, some inheritance similar to that straight dominant recessive uh, inheritance pattern with eye color, but since there's so many genes involved, it's it's more complicated. But I can I can tell that there's some heterozygotes in my lineage. Well, if I look at my paternal side of the family, I got lots and lots of brown eyes. I got grandpa, aunt, aunt, uncle, and dad. And I'm just lucky that I inherited my mom's eye color because I really like it. So you can do something similar for your exhibit. You could <laughs> center it on the page a little better. You could add a key, you know, and your artist statement explaining the analysis you did, who you included. You could even label with names or put the genotype and phenotype uh, using the letters or the code that was in the exercise. Entirely up to you. You know, make this your own. This is going to reflect you and help you understand yourself better. So if you have any questions, come and see me and Mrs. Burke. Thank you.